Hey guys, Holy Adam here, and I've got some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered for you today. I've only had this game a couple of days now. I'm a bit late to the hype, but I've uh, really been enjoying it. The nostalgia is is insane, but the rage is also equally as high. But I think because because I've got those nostalgia goggles on, the rage is worth it. I think new players to it might play it and find it a bit too hard because it is. Is a bit more challenging than other Call of Duties to uh, get them high gameplays without using a M16. So, because the M16 in it, and it always was just ridiculously overpowered. That's uh, that was COD 4 for you. And obviously, they made a couple of little changes, but they really didn't touch it at all, which is what everyone wanted. They wanted that raw Call of Duty. I think people need to understand that this is one of the first. Um, Call of Duty that really took off and that created the competitive scene and stuff. So it is it is kind of raw in that respect that they haven't refined stuff and improved on stuff. But obviously everyone wanted nothing changed. So you've got a very basic Call of Duty and it's got a steeper learning curve than most Call of Duties I think. Especially the new Call of Duties where they, they tailor to a younger age where a lot more younger people have consoles now. I've really been having to learn how to play again. It's been ages since I've played COD. I stopped after after uh, Black Ops 2. Yeah. Black Ops 2 was the last COD I played. I do have um, is it Advanced Warfare? The one after Black Ops 2? I have whatever COD it is after Black Ops 2 I actually own it. But I think I played a couple of games and then I just didn't like it at all. I didn't like the verticality of the game. So I've really been having to try and learn how to play COD again and I remember some of the maps and then which is sort of a bad thing because I remember how fucking much carnage there is in this game. It's so loud and the roots are made so it's kind of hard to stay alive but it is a really good game. Just do a couple of tips if you want to level up fast because I've only had it for two nights now and I'm just about to prestige which probably isn't some far, like as fast compared to some people when they're dropping like 100 plus gameplays but I think it's quicker than most obviously stick to the game mode you you like the most so you, cause once you start raging that's when you do, you start doing bad because you, you're angry that you're not doing good and then you get even more angry and more angry and you become absolute shit at the game because you're focused on on the anger instead of the game. What I do is I just go into ground war. Um, kill confirm and ground war is the best because so you can probably if you don't like the amount of players there is, which I do, it's just more opportunity to kill people. But if you don't like the amount of people there is, how cluster fucky it is, go into normal war, kill confirmed. I think that's a given. I think most people when they create sort of level up fast and cod videos say just go into kill confirm straight away because even if you aren't um, that good at killing people you just pick up everybody's tags and you can just get loads of points that way and if you are uh, good at the game and then you can get loads of kills and you can pick up everyone else's tags as well so it works out pretty well with the XP. I've uh, got gold camo on the M40 sniper I'm working on the R700 now, and then eventually the Barrett. I think I'll take the Barrett through as my next prestige token sort of thing. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go for Regal, just because I, I won't enjoy the other two snipers, the Dragunov and the uh, M11, or whatever it's called. I won't enjoy it, and I don't, you know, I think the Neon Tiger is probably the best camo in the game. That is my new favourite camo. But I've been uh, hit a couple of split clips, nothing clean so far. Um, one of the quad feeds I hit, I thought it was smooth as fuck. Keep in mind I haven't haven't right sniped or quick scoped in any sort of game like this in since Black Ops 2 was out, so I'm doing alright. I'm I have you know, you have to learn to snipe again and get your shot back. I've still got a bit of a turtle turtle shot at the moment, it's so slow. But I've got a split quad feed. Which I love, I love it. Just the way it rolls into it, 
and uh, but unfortunately when I got to my last the fourth person it got split and then I got four quad feed headshot feed and that was unfortunate because um, I quite like that one as well because it's quad headshot feed but it was uh, headshot split headshot headshot split headshot so it got split two times I was so pissed about that but still still a decent um, decent clip for me at least since I haven't played COD in so long and uh, I like the improvements of the camos as well well I've added in the camos Regal does look pretty good but Neon Tiger for me just kills it I'm trying to get Neon Tiger for all the weapons that I mainly use so M16 if I'm trying to level up ridiculously fast um, snipers, the M40 I'm doing the R700 just for a bit of fun because I don't think I'll use that much and then uh, yeah um, I would say I get it for the Deagle but I'll just use the Commander Deagle anyway So, but I'll definitely get it for the Barrett as well um, can't wait to use the Barrett a bit after I've uh, unlocked the R700 so that's it from me uh, expect to see more Call of Duty remastered videos on this channel so subscribe if you want to see more and please like the video and see you later